Good to see a number of you at the end of month uh, Traders Roundtable. We had good fun. A few technical problems, but I think we overcame them in the end. So let's get straight on to the chart. So here we have the close of this monthly bar here, right up against resistance going back to July 0708. Little topping tail up there. So uh, we have a lot of months of buying. RSI is not extended. But this is a lot of resistance to get through here, a lot of resistance. So if we can't hold this and we start to ease back and break below 22.10, then we could be seeing a drop that could see us back to um, 18.25. The daily, however, tells a slightly different story. We've had a lower high, and today we've had a little hammer light -like bar close to the 50 MA on the daily. So if we break above back here, we could break through this resistance and march our way up to 2.4, maybe even 2.5. So what I'm looking for is not touching this at the moment, but if I get a break below 22.33 or a break above 23.50, then I will um, take a position. Actually, I mean, as far as longs are concerned, I would be happy to take a break above here and a pullback to here. To see if we can get through 23.50. Um, this is a nice little hammer. It's at some key support. So just need to see if this can, if this is going to hold, or if we are going to get back down below 22.33. At which point I will consider a short. Uh, dollar index monthly on the right. So uh, still seeing continuation of this shooting star up here for me. Big selling right down to this uh, triple bottom here but we've had another two months of selling and looking as if we could retest 75 65 a week close today looks as if it's trying to find a bottoming pattern but it just continues to show weakness so let's look at some dollar pairs uh, a little later on first of all let's just look at oil before we move on to the currencies oil monthly is finished right on this trend line resistance um, 700 point move off the 200 MA in the daily from, from 85 uh, but we're very very close to 9334 which is major resistance so uh, and at somewhat hesitant bar up there as well in the monthly we've basically been pretty flat on the month so uh, training conditions have been pretty tight at times so you can see from these narrow range bars so the big falls to the outside and then a big run to the upside so if we can get above here, if we can get above, close above 92.50 in the daily, or 90, well 93.35 in the daily, then we could get to 96 pretty quick. If we get up here and can't get through 93.34, then expect to see further moves to the downside. As for, I mean there's no swing trades here, because the resistance is so tight and particularly the monthly chart so just sit tight and if there are any swing trades coming up then I will report that to you when that happens. Uh, on the gold this is the worst performing month for 13 months so engulfed two and a half mo months of price action uh, hesitant bar in the daily so looking to see if we get further breaks down possibly uh, as low as at least 12.50, maybe lower. Uh, if you're not short this market, then stay aside. There was a reversal bar, there was the triple top drop, break of the trend line. But this 50 MA break, that reversal bar under the 50 was great for a short, but uh, I'm just standing aside and letting this mar market settle down. But on the face of it, that is uh, a very big seller's bar. It's still very extended from the 50 MA and a, a red RSI level so let's watch just watch that for uh, wheat you can see why I am so interested in wheat uh, close above the 50 MA in the monthly pull back to the 50 MA and we're up to 840 which is a nice close just above this area here at 837 uh, if you were to want to go long this the pull back to 833 would be a good move uh, I'm looking to see on wheat if we can get right back up to these highs a little bit of panic buying starting the week, uh, which is showing wheat showing through in this chart. Uh, but this looks like just the start of a move to these highs, possibly as high as 13.50 in the wheat. So let's now move on to the forex markets. Uh, this Nasdaq US dollar 
I've had three touches of 7787. Uh, so far, failed on each. Couple, last couple of days have finished okay, but very hesitant monthly. So um, I think I need to stand aside and wait for fresh setups on this New Zealand unit. CAD Swissy looks something like a uh, hammer like bar or major support here, and that monthly uh, is a stopping bar. So looking to see if the CAD Swissy and start to move back up to the upside with that strong oil. CAD Yen, I am short this on a pullback. Uh, I am slight, well I, I took a pullback to uh, 82, about 35. Um, but the, the monthly finish is not great sideways. Um, that's a potential stopping bar on the daily, so I just I'll keep managing that stop two bars back and see if I can get the move. But uh, let's see. What in New Zealand? Uh, right in the apex of this uh, wedge here, so just waiting to see which way it's going to go. A hesitant monthly, so um, yeah. Let's, let's see if we can break out the highs here. Then I would start to think about a trade. At the moment, I mean, the, the daily is just terrible, it's just hugging the 50 EMA. Need to see if we get any setups on this and then I'll report back. Uh, Eurocad, have to report I got stopped out on a swing trade here. I uh, went short on a break of this reversal bar here on Friday. A couple of points profit on the end of Friday and then stopped out today for a small loss. So never mind, uh, it's, a very, it's a positive monthly chart. So I'm just going to stand aside on this one. Daily is too extended to go long, so I'll leave it. Euro US, uh, see this, a you know, decent finish on the monthly. Close, you know, open below the 50 May, close above. Uh, not as strong as the pound. The pound is ahead, ahead of the game in this respect. There's the monthly hammer back in June, which gave us this move up. Um, the finish in the daily is not as good as the pound US, so I'm just concentrating on the pound at this stage. That strength in the pound, slight weaker level in the euro, is given the monthly euro pound uh, hesitant bar. Uh, shooting star up there, I think we'll see a continuation of the move to the downside. We'll back up that shooting star and we'll consider a short once we get below the 50 MA. And finally, like the US dollar CAD for long here, that's a hammer of major support in the monthly. A heck of a lot of resistance up here. Hesitant bar on the daily. I really want to wait and see if I can get a, a close above this level here, uh, above the trend line resistance, and I'll buy a pullback and then see if I can get up to these highs in the US dollar CAD. So, watching the Aussie US, um, watching the uh, US dollar CAD, I want to get in a, on a pullback on the pound US, and I think I've forgotten to mention the pound CAD, which is setting up. Nice decent, um, it's a higher low, it's closed above the previous month, and we've got a great daily bar here, so looking to get long at 159.71 on the pound CAD for a move up to uh, 164. Alright, hope that helps, and um, Forex course dates are coming up on the 8th and 9th 10th, beginner's course is on the 19th and 20th of Feb, Email me or give me a ring if you would like to uh, like some more information on that as the places are going. Not many places left. So uh, I'll say goodbye now and email me with any questions. Thanks, bye.